Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Battletech Flashpoint. So I'm going to take a shot at running a career campaign here. Um, let's go to career and we're going to do new. And I'm going to leave, um, I think I'm going to leave everything as it is here. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily change anything. I could make it a lot harder, um, but I want to play the game kind of as it was meant to be played. Uh, three parts from mech assembly, which I find extremely low. Um, but we're going to leave it at that. I think most people are going to be playing with this. Normally I would play, um, you know, definitely unequipped mechs. Definitely eight pieces of salvage. Um, Iron Man mode would always be on. Um, no advanced mech warriors, things like that. So I'm going to run this way. Just start the game. Alright, so here we go. So this is all new. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go, I think, something different this time. I'm going to go with uh, Capellan Confederation. And after his 16th birthday, um, I'm going to say my family went bankrupt. Leave it as that. I'm going to be a, a, a dispossessed noble here, I think. And then we ended up being um, hmm, Coalition Soldier, no. Frontier Freelancer, Intersphere Mercenary. There we go. So we got Tactic and Guts here. It, once, I, once again, it's just... Uh, you know, I don't really care about these. We'll get some points to spend at the start. So, I haven't really thought about a name yet. So, we're going to go to he because that's me. And I'm going to build my general character again here real quick. Um, I know I'm using the same uh, stuff as I've always used, but that's fine. I don't mind uh, going along the same route here. And let's get rid of our scars because we're just starting our this particular career. Eyebrows the same, leave the facial expression, and we're going to go with the young version of myself. And we're going to go with hmm, let's change this a bit. Let's, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Camera, we want to be looking straight out. And clothing, what uniform do we want to have this time? Yeah, let's go with the red one, that's fine. And dark hair, here we go. So let's save this guy. So let's put a random let's go with random names I don't think it really matters Silas Patterson how's that sound and let's call ourselves 900 let's go back put 900 for Jesus after one of my uh, favorite MCs. So let's go, let's save this and continue. Confirm. All right. So apparently we have to, um, hmm. So I guess we're, we're scored now, I guess, eh? That's fine. So 1200 days remaining to get our score. All right, no problem. We're, first thing we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go to customize company. And we're going to call ourselves the 900. And we're going to choose, I think, probably, let's go this one. It's kind of like a Spartan helmet. Sure, why not? And then let's grab, hmm, what do we think here? Accent color will be, yeah, do I want to go with like a kind of like a dull reddy, red and yellow looking mech? Red and orange, I don't know, maybe red and yellow. Actually, let's grab something more along that line, I think. Coppery. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. It's, you know, it's unfortunate we don't get to see what it looks like here, but let's just save this. See what our mechs look like. Let's go check them out now. Let's go to the mech base. So I believe we get, we're given the same amount of mechs, or same type of mechs as everybody else starts off with. Actually, this kind of looks not, not too bad. Yeah. Spartans were known, known for their bronze equipment, so I'm going to go with a bronze color here. Cool. Actually, these aren't, these aren't bad mechs to start with. So we're going to leave the colors as they are, I think. I might change them after I see them in combat, but they look pretty good here. All right, so... Barracks, Mech Warriors. And we got random Mech Warriors assigned. So we're going to give everyone a uniform like we normally do. And let's 
go this route. So we all look the same. And we want to do... Yeah, so that's right. Save that. And... Oh, it doesn't change them. Good to go. Orders. Okay, well, there you go. Standing by. Waiting. Orders. Receiving you. Okay, that's just fine. You don't want to change them? Uh, uh, okay. Alright, we're going to go this route now. Excellent. Okay, so let's try and jump right into a contract here. Let's go to the command center. Actually, before we do that, since it's actually general contracts, grind, 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 grind. Let's go back to um, the ship upgrades. Let's get some stuff started here. Definitely want to get the power systems going. 10 days, 90 grand. All right, I'll get the team you got way. it. Okay, so I'm going to have to get used to this again. Uh, used to the morale or yeah being up relatively high to start and things like that so all right so let's do that all right so let's go to contracts and see what we got here now we are starting off on where are we here in the star map really quick we're starting off up here right yeah oh we're not we're right here Lyerton okay Maybe it depends on where, who you, uh... Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's fine. So how far away were, like, 16 days, 19, 22, 12 days, that's not bad. Our planet's a half a skull, so we're going to take some missions here, I think. Get some cash and some gear. Let's go to contracts. And I'm going to play the, norm, the normal way I play Battletech. Um, because we don't want to get any three mech parts, I'm just not going to choose mech parts. We'll just be given whatever we get um, and go along that route. I'm not really trying to get the biggest score as I possibly can. I just want to play play and have fun and enjoy what this uh, has to bring. So we're going to do... Wow, that's a really low payout right there. Payroll seizure. Holovid propaganda is defending the base. Noisy neighbors... Yeah. Normally I'll refit my max to start, but I think I want to see how this is going to play. i got to get used to the fighting style again. So uh, let's just jump right into a battle. Let's go with... Um, let's go with payroll seizures, just so I, can, so I can get used to this again. It'll just be a, a nice little test, and then we'll see how everything's working. Probably going to want to refit some stuff. I don't think we have a lot of stuff to be able to refit our max with, but we're going to go this route. All right, and we're going to go max salvage because we do have money uh, and we don't have to worry about a drop cost. So the Capella Confederation, we're going to be minus two, but uh, I don't really care at this point. Although we're, th you know, yeah, I don't care. We can always get uh, more rep later on. All right, so we're going to run with a Vindicator. Jenner's got SRM four and four medium lasers. Panther, we want in. Now we put the Spider in. He's got good mobility. This guy's got better weaponry, though. Hmm. This guy's a little more durable. Let's go with mobility. Alright, so I'm going to take the Vindicator. And what do we got here? We got two pilots with three attack. So let's get Rhea in the Jenner. Actually, I'm going to put her in the Panther, I think. Let's put Possum in the Jenner. Let's put her in the Panther, and it doesn't really matter between these two. They're both the same. Let's put Shiv in, and let's deploy and get this thing done. All right, so all we have to do is get in and get out of here. And it's all the way up there. That's fine. Some might call this pretty. Some might call it pretty. All right, so this is a lot more sluggish than I'm used to. Um, so we've got jump jets on pretty much everybody here, I think. But we are going to sprint and move along this way. No need to tell me twice. It's nice to be able to have the fast movement back here. Okay. 
Now let's go with I hear ya. you first. We're not jumping. I got to get used to those jump jets being there. Um, let's go to here. And it's just going to auto select our guys, I guess. Good to go. So we're going to reconvene. Oh, they trimmed the map here a little bit too. Um, let's go. Yeah, down here. Moving out. Moving to position. Oh right, we're not attacking the we're not attacking the base. I keep thinking we're attacking this base, but we're not. All right, let's just keep moving up. We know where we're going up the backside here. Uh oh, you got caught up in the hill there. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna pull the jump jets at everybody. Um, I've seen some play here with. Uh, you know, all the mechs using jump jets. Maybe we're going to need that later on. I'm not 100% sure. I do like the firepower more so over top of the mobility. Um, because I, I'm still convinced that there's... Um, you can do just as much with your sprinting as you can with... Um, with... Um, your jump jets. Now, obviously, you, you can't jump over hill. You can't like, run over hills or things like that, right? Um, especially if they're big obstacles, but still, you can position yourself so that you don't have to worry about that. At least that's what I feel. Alright, let's get you straight up the road. Copy that. It's Copy definitely that. a lot faster approaching the uh, terrain here than it is when I was playing uh, Rogue Tech there a little while ago. Okay, we got contacts now. We got bad guys. We do. Moving out. Acknowledge. All right, let's see what we got here. Two lights. Okay, so we're not going to grab the person we're here to get right away. We're going to reserve. Um, for the right move. I don't want them targeting that one mech. Chances are that's what they'll do if the AI is smart enough. Can we get up on this guy? Okay, gotta get used to the um, targeting again. This means we have line of sight, correct? Let's find out. Sure does. Ah, uh, yes, but I cannot sprint and shoot. Ordered. I have to remember that, too, now. Roger that. Um, yeah, that's going to be uh, an issue. So let's stay back here. On my way. We'll brace. What can I do for you? And let's get up in here and brace. On my way. So my Vindicator is now a Sacrificial Lamb. Okay, he's got reduced armor. Shoddy condition. Um, Commander. We can't even target him? Really? Holding action, Commander. Okay. Let's uh, show this guy why we're here. Eh, not bad chance today. We're going to leave the LRM-5 off. Well, I got lots of ammo. Forget it. Fire it. Alright. So that was a leg hit. Can we get Shiv? Commander. Sorry, not Shiv. Rhea. Yes, Commander. You can't actually see. Oh, you can see him from here, though. Moving out. So let's take a shot at this guy. See if we can blow his other leg off. Let's go this route. Given them everything I've got. Nope. 
leaving you. Uh, so shifting the spider. Okay, I have to remember that now. Uh, let's get down to here. Moving out. I don't think we hit. We hit the CT. Um, yeah, he's done. Um, let's fire the center torso. Wow, really? Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. No, I saw that. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's move uh -huh. over here. And I'm gonna target the leg. Leave the SRM4 off. See if we get lucky. Well, there you goes. Goodbye. And stay down. Really? Really? Well, at least we're inspired. Inspired to kill more. There's, please tell me there's more than two guys here. Um, there better be more than two guys here. Ready for orders. It's like completely useless, the salvage we took then, if there's not more than two guys here. This guy's a panther, right? Alright, let's do a precision strike. He's got shoddy armor too. Let's try for a headshot. Because we can. Affirmative. Hmm. Maybe we're better trying to leg the guy. Um, you can't hit anybody, so we're gonna sprint. Actually, can we jump up here and target? No. Yeah, you know what? Jumping is actually gonna be, I think, more beneficial than sprinting in this version because I can't actually target when I'm sprinting. Or like you can a rogue tech, right? I hear ya. So that's gonna be an interesting factor. So let's fire everything straight on this guy. Special delivery. And 900 foot. Oh, we can actually hit him with the LRMs. Let's just sprint up here though. So we did a called shot on that guy, so we get to go first. Hmm, let's go with possum first. What can I do for you? Let's walk it up to here. Right, Commander. Fire everything on this guy. Let's finish this up. And can we see him? We can. We move forward. See if we can get the PPC on him. Firing a full salvo. Nice. And then Shiv. Good to go. Good to go. Let's get into here. Far straight in the sky. Here it comes. That should do it. There it is, folks. He's just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. All right, so let's go with uh, where are you here? Waiting for orders. Okay, just gonna brace through it. Done. Well, that was simple. Now I know what to expect. Not anything like Rogue Tug, that's for sure. Should have taken cash on that one. Seven thousand. Should be enough for repairs, but 400 XP each, which is a lot more than I thought it would have been. These guys are going to level up real fast. Alright. Salvage. PPC. Um, pair of heat sinks. <laughs> we get everything anyway, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Alright, well that was it for that. Um... That went really quick, so maybe let's have a look at the mech bays. Um, I was kind of astonished at how fast that was. Uh, we're fully repaired, are we not? I think we are. I'm used to having to repair my mechs when I come back too, so... Alright, so maybe we just try and refit these guys a little bit. Um, gonna... I don't know. Like, I can't sprint and shoot, so jump jets are gonna be of more value. Right, but we want to. We don't want to put the LRM. We don't want to have the LRM ammo there. Maybe we go with SRM4 instead. Heat on this is what six. SRM4 is eight. A little more. Let's pull the LRM ammo out. Put the SRM ammo in the legs. We've got more leg room too. 
pull the S that guy and put it in the SRM4. Yeah, and maybe we take out the small laser. But we can use this for melee too, right? I think we're probably okay for now. Yeah, let's go that route. Actually, you know what? Let's pull a little bit off the legs here. And then go... One, two, three, four. Like that. Alright, three days. Let's confirm that. And generate, let's refit the generator and see what we got here. Jump jets, heat efficiency is really lousy. I mean, I could pull out the SRM4 altogether, put in some heat sinks. Um, we've got two heat sinks. Yeah, I'm thinking that, I mean, look at this thing's armor too, right? Let's take out the SRM4. That'll save a little bit of heat. And we definitely need to go, like... Definitely need armor. Okay, so that's one ton. Do we need two tons or do we put two heat sinks in this guy? Hmm. If we get hit, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So let's... And we didn't do too bad last time. We're going to probably be hitting, hitting and running. So, I mean, we could put more jump jets in, but it's not really worth it. I think more so we want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's not going to work out that way. Maybe we go down here and here. Something like that. Thinking that's probably the better way to go. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Let's confirm this. And, and Commando. Uh, let's just leave him for now. Spider. Spider, I think, is fine. There's not much else we can do with this guy. He's got two laser points in the CT. No armor, though. Let's go back to... God, there's like no armor on that guy. Let's go back to the commando and have a look here. Large laser, SRM2, and a medium laser. Pretty good heat efficiency. I mean, do we want to swap out the large laser and put a PPC in? We could pull out the large and the SRM and put a PPC in. The arm, like the armor, there's like nothing on this guy. Or we could just pull out the SRM, put on two tons of armor. Let's do this. He doesn't have jump jets either, though, right? He can sport jump jets. Hmm. As long as this guy stays at range, he'll be okay. Heat efficiency is pretty darn good. 30 and 30. Large laser is only 20? Heat is 18 for the large laser. And 12 for the medium. So that's pretty darn good. So we could just apply more armor on this guy and then... Well, we could, how much the jump shots weigh? Half a ton each. Let's see what we can get armor wise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Let's take off four, two, two. Yeah, let's go that route. Let's confirm this. Panther, let's refit him. So SRM4, now let's put the SRM4 in the legs. Man, this guy's got like nothing. I could change it out for a two and put some more armor on him. Or we take it out all together. I don't want to downgrade him though. I think we leave it like this. There's not much else we can do. Yeah, let's just confirm that. Right. Now the spider... I mean, I don't even know. There's nothing we can really do other than pulling the jump jets out of the spider. And putting on a ton of armor. Like we could take two jump jets out. And then just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, the arms themselves, there's nothing in the arms. We can take a couple points off there. Couple points back, CT. This is just painful. We'll go this route. Long. All right, so we're definitely going to need to find more mechs really, really fast. Definitely. So I think next time when we come back, we'll take a one skull mission and work up to that. Um, see what we can get expect in a one skull. And then if it's pretty simple, we'll go to a one and a half, then do a two, just to see um, what we're up against. But we're going to stay on this planet, try and milk as much as we can, I think, before moving on. This is a half skull planet, so it's kind of, uh, kind of a, a bonus. But until next time, if you like it, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm going to be continuing along this series with my, my Rogue Tech uh, Cold Forge series. Um, I do have both uh, versions of of um, Log Up Battletech Flashpoint and Rogue Tech both installed so I can bounce back and forth between the two so I'm going to try and drop a, uh, an episode each day for each one um, but yeah so anyway I'll see you again next time